Do you like French fries? Yeah. Do you like chips? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Namaste and welcome. I'm Dr. Rajiv Ayer and this is Adi Ayu. Cooking oil is an essential thing that everybody needs in their life. But oil is 100% fat. In this video, I'll tell you what are the healthy cooking oils that you should be using that is friendly to your heart. And also I'll tell you which are those things you should not be using. Keep watching. Keep on watching. <laughs> So number one is sunflower oil, the oil we use, right? Yeah. Okay. So sunflower oil, as the name says, is derived from the seeds of sunflower. Sunflower oil has a smoking point of 450 degrees Fahrenheit. This means this can be used for frying and baking. Sunflower oil consists of oleic acid and linoleic acid, which are polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fatty acids both of which are healthy to the heart okay mm -hmm. sunflower oil is also a rich source of vitamin e which is an antioxidant number two is safflower oil safflower oil comes from the same family as sunflower as the name says safflower oil comes from the seeds of safflower plant similar to sunflower oil safflower oil contains polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fatty acids so this is one of the recommended oils to use the smoke point is around 450 degrees Fahrenheit and this can be used for deep frying and baking. You know, your favorite French fries are usually made with safflower oil. Did you know this? Mm-mm. Okay, now you didn't. Know. You didn't? Mm-mm. Do you know it now? Yeah. Okay. This is my teddy bear. What's his name? Sal. What? Sal? Yeah. Number three is soybean oil. As the name says, soybean oil is got from the seeds of soybean. Soybean oil is very widely consumed around the world. This has a smoking point of 460 degree Fahrenheit, which means even this oil can be used for baking and deep frying. Soybean oil consists of polyunsaturated fatty acids, which are healthy to the heart. Soybean oil also has vitamin K, which is essential for keeping the bone strong and blood clotting. Number four is corn oil. Corn oil comes from the seeds of corn or maize. With a high smoke point of 460 degree Fahrenheit, even this oil can be used for deep frying and baking. Number five is canola oil. Canola oil is a vegetable oil derived from rapeseed. This is very closely related to the family of cabbage. Canola oil contains more monounsaturated than polyunsaturated fatty acids. This can be used for all types of cooking, including deep frying. So number six is walnut oil. As the name indicates, walnut oil is derived from walnuts. This has a high quantity of polyunsaturated fatty acids, which is healthy to the heart. It is a good source of omega-3 fatty acids. Because of its high price, walnut oil is not very commonly used. Walnut oil has a smoke point of 320 degree Fahrenheit. So this oil is different from the oils I mentioned before. Because of a low smoke point, walnut oil should not be used for deep frying, but it can be used for pan frying and other types of cooking. Number seven is flaxseed oil. As the name says, it comes from flax seeds. This is rich in omega-3 fatty acids. It has been found to reduce blood sugar and cholesterol. It has a smoke point of 225 degrees Fahrenheit, which means this cannot be used for deep frying. So what do you think of all the oils we talked about so far? We talked about olive oil. We will talk about olive oil now. That's a good segue. Number eight is olive oil, which is derived from olives, an important part of the Mediterranean diet. It is produced by pressing whole olives. So the US FDA states that eating two tablespoons of olive oil every day may reduce the risk of heart disease because of the presence of unsaturated fatty acids. In order to achieve this, olive oil should replace a similar quantity of saturated fatty acids in the diet. The best thing to do is to rotate all the oils so you get the benefit of those, assuming you like the taste of it. Now we're going to move about the oils which we should not be using. This is very important to know because you should avoid this in your diet if you're using this. Number one is coconut oil. 
coconut oil is popular amongst many cultures and is very frequently used in ketogenic diets. Coconut oil consists mostly of saturated fats which is not good for the heart. It can increase cholesterol, triglycerides and low density lipoprotein which is not a good form of cholesterol to have in the body. Number two is palm oil. Palm oil is derived from the fruit of palms. Even though this is a vegetable oil, this is not good for the heart because of high quantity of saturated fats in it. It increases low density lipoprotein cholesterol and the risk of heart disease. This should be replaced with the other oils I mentioned before. Number three is palm kernel oil. Palm kernel oil along with coconut and palm oil are the top three oils with the most amount of saturated fats in them. So it's better to avoid this or you should avoid these in order to have a healthy heart. In fact, the saturated fat in palm kernel oil is even more than coconut oil and palm oil. Number four is our favorite one, butter. Everybody knows about butter. You like butter? Yeah. Why do you like it? Because it's tasty. Exactly, everybody loves butter because it's tasty but it's not good for the heart. Did you know that? Now do you know that? Yeah. Okay, good. So butter has both fat and protein. When butter is heated, as we all know, it becomes ghee, which is butter minus water minus the protein, and ghee is also known as clarified butter. Butter increases cholesterol and consequently the risk of heart disease. And whenever possible, butter should be replaced with polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fatty acid oils as I mentioned before. I hope you can make a wise decision in your cooking by incorporating oils that are healthy to your heart. If you found any value with this video, do like and share. Subscribe button and hit the channel. Yes, if this type of content provides value to you, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can watch more videos like this. Take care, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.